In the heart of Uttar Pradesh, nestled among sprawling fields and meandering rivers, lay a village untouched by the hustle of modernity. Here, the rhythm of life was dictated by the rising and setting sun, and traditions were held as sacrosanct, passed down through generations like precious heirlooms. This village, with its thatched roofs and narrow, winding lanes, was a world unto itself, and it was here that our story unfolds. It was in this quaint setting that Amit lived, a boy of twelve, known to all not just for his mischievous smile or the twinkle in his bright eyes, but for his extraordinarily long hair. Amit's hair, cascading down his back like a waterfall of ebony, was the subject of much fascination and whisper among the villagers. It had never been cut since the day he was born, a decision steeped in the family's belief in astrology. An astrologer had once proclaimed that cutting Amit's hair before a certain age would bring ill fortune, and in a village where such beliefs were etched into the very fabric of life, no one dared question it. Amit's long hair set him apart in a community where boys typically sported short, cropped haircuts. At times, it became a source of teasing from his peers, who would often mistake him for a girl, a mix-up that both amused and irked Amit. But within the boundaries of his home, his hair was treated with reverence, often oiled and combed by his mother, who took pride in its luster and length. The village itself was a character in Amit's story, a place where every person knew each other's names and lives were intertwined like the threads of a tapestry. Here, the days were marked by the familiar sounds of cowbells in the fields, the chime of the temple bells, and the chatter of villagers gathering under the banyan tree. Life was simple, yet rich with the colors of tradition and the warmth of community. Amit's family was much like any other in the village. His father, a farmer, was a man of few words but deep wisdom, and his mother, a homemaker, was the heart of their small home, her days spent in a flurry of cooking, cleaning, and caring for the family. They lived in a modest house, its walls adorned with pictures of deities and family ancestors, and its rooms echoing with the laughter and squabbles of siblings. Despite the simplicity of his surroundings, Amit's world was vast in imagination. He found joy in the little things, the flight of a kite soaring high in the sky, the stories told by his grandmother under the starlit sky, and the adventures that awaited him in the open fields. But amid all this, there was an unspoken understanding, a silent acknowledgement of the norms and rules that governed life in this close-knit community. As the sun set on another day, casting a golden hue over the village, Amit sat on the steps of his house, his long hair gently swaying in the evening breeze. Little did he know that this summer would bring a change, an experience that would transform not just his appearance, but his very understanding of himself. For in a village where every day seemed a repetition of the last, change was brewing, subtle yet significant, in the form of a summer vacation that awaited him. As dawn broke over the village, spilling its first light onto the rustic homes and dew-laden fields, Amit awoke to the familiar symphony of rural life. The distant lowing of cattle, the chirping of sparrows, and the soft murmur of morning prayers created a melody that had underscored his entire life. Amidst this tranquility, Amit's day began much like any other child's in the village, but with an added ritual that set him apart, the care of his long, luscious hair. In the modest confines of his home, Amit's mother gently combed through his hair, her fingers working with practiced ease. This daily routine was a quiet time for mother and son, filled with gentle scolding and laughter. The oil she massaged into his scalp was fragrant with herbs, a concoction passed down through generations, believed to strengthen and protect. Amit often complained playfully, longing to run free and unhindered, yet there was comfort in this ritual, a connection to tradition and family he couldn't deny. Outside the comforting walls of his home, Amit's hair was a beacon that drew eyes and whispers. In the village, where traditional gender roles were deeply ingrained, a boy with hair longer than most girls was an anomaly. The children, in their innocent cruelty, often teased Amit, calling him by girls' names, their laughter echoing in the narrow village lanes. Amit, 
spirited and quick-witted, usually laughed along, throwing back his own jibes, but sometimes the laughter didn't quite reach his eyes. The village school was a small building, its walls adorned with colorful paintings and moral lessons. Here, Amit was just another student, yet not quite. His teachers saw potential in his bright, curious eyes, but also a restlessness, a spirit that seemed caged by the norms of their small world. The other boys played cricket in the dusty playground, their shouts and cheers a constant backdrop to the school days. Amit joined them often, his hair tied back to keep it out of his face, a makeshift solution to a problem he had not chosen. Amit's interactions were not limited to the playful banter of his peers. The elders of the village, with their wisdom and traditional views, often looked at Amit with a mix of affection and concern. Such beautiful hair. It's a shame he's a boy, they would whisper among themselves, their words a reflection of the cultural tapestry that Amit was woven into. His uniqueness was both a source of pride and a subtle burden, a divergence from the path laid out by generations. Despite the undercurrents of gender norms and expectations, Amit's life was filled with the simple joys of rural childhood. He found solace in the vast fields that stretched beyond the village, where he could run free, his hair trailing behind him like a flag of his own making. In these open spaces, Amit was just a child, unbound by the labels and expectations that awaited him back in the lanes of his village. As summer approached, bringing with it the relentless heat and the promise of school holidays, Amit looked forward to the annual visit to his cousin's house in a neighboring town. It was a break from the routine, a chance to explore new streets and play new games. Little did Amit know that this summer would not just be a break from the ordinary, but a journey into a world where his long hair would take on a new meaning, where the lines drawn by tradition would blur in unexpected ways. As the sweltering heat of summer settled over the village, casting long, lazy shadows across the sun-baked earth, Amit's anticipation grew. The school had just let out for the holidays, and the annual trip to his cousin's house in the neighboring town was imminent. This town, larger and busier than his village, was a place of wonder for Amit, with its bustling markets, winding streets, and unfamiliar faces. It was a refreshing escape from the unyielding gaze of the village, a place where Amit could be just another face in the crowd. The journey to the town was a familiar one, yet it held a new excitement each year. Amit, seated in the back of the family's old, rattling scooter, felt the wind whip through his hair, a sensation that filled him with a sense of freedom. The town, with its cacophony of sounds and vibrant life, welcomed him with open arms. His cousin, Raj, a boy just a year older than Amit, was his partner in crime for these summer adventures. Raj's house, a modest two-story building, was always abuzz with activity, a stark contrast to the quiet routine of Amit's home. Raj and Amit shared a bond that went beyond mere cousinhood. They were confidants, partners in mischief, and explorers of the small wonders that the town had to offer. In Raj, Amit found an ally, someone who didn't see his long hair as a peculiarity, but simply as a part of him. The town, with its diverse populace, seemed less concerned with Amit's appearance, allowing him a sense of anonymity that he cherished. As Amit's birthday approached, a day during the summer vacation that had always been celebrated with gusto at Raj's house, there was an air of excitement. This year, Raj's mother, Aunt Priya, proposed a novel idea for the celebration. Let's dress Amit up as a girl, just for fun, for his birthday party, she suggested with a mischievous glint in her eye. The idea, though proposed in jest, caught on like wildfire among the family. Amit, initially taken aback by the suggestion, felt a curious mix of apprehension and intrigue. The idea of dressing up as a girl wasn't entirely alien to him, given his experiences in the village, but doing so deliberately was a different matter altogether. However, the playful encouragement from Raj and the family, and the promise of it being just a harmless birthday prank, swayed him. The transformation was gradual but astonishing. Amit sat, a mix of nerves and excitement, as Aunt Priya styled his long hair into a cascade of curls, adorned with flowers. 
The sari, a traditional garment worn by women in India, was draped around him with skillful hands, its vibrant colors complementing his youthful features. As coal was carefully applied around his eyes and a touch of lipstick brightened his lips, Amit looked in the mirror and saw a reflection that was both familiar and utterly alien. Dressed in the finery of traditional Indian femininity, Amit stepped out to a chorus of gasps and laughter. The family marveled at how convincingly he could pass as a girl. The long hair that had often been the subject of teasing now lending itself beautifully to this transformation. Amit, amidst the laughter and playful teasing, felt an unexpected sense of exhilaration. It was as if he had stepped into a new world, one where the lines of gender blurred and he could be anyone, anything. The party was a whirlwind of music, dance, and laughter, with Amit at its center. For those few hours, he was not just Amit, the boy with the long hair from the village, but a different version of himself, one that defied the norms and reveled in the freedom of expression. The night ended with joyous celebration, but for Amit, it was more than just a birthday party. It was a glimpse into a world of possibilities, a world where he could be more than what was expected of him. The morning after the birthday celebration dawned with the remnants of the previous night's laughter still echoing in the walls of Raj's house. The transformation of Amit into a convincing portrayal of a girl had been the highlight, a topic that continued to buzz among the family members over breakfast. But as the sun climbed higher, casting a golden glow over the town, a new idea began to take root one that would push Amit's experience of transformation a step further. Aunt Priya, whose playful suggestion had led to Amit's makeover, now proposed another adventurous idea. You know what would really complete your look, Amit? A nose piercing. Just a tiny one, it would look lovely, she said, half in jest. The room fell into an intrigued silence. Nose piercings were a common adornment for women in the community, a symbol of beauty and tradition. For Amit, however, the idea was both thrilling and daunting. The suggestion, which started as a lighthearted comment, soon gained momentum. Amit felt a swirl of emotions, curiosity, fear, and a strange sense of excitement. The idea of a piercing was foreign, yet it held a certain allure, a step into an unexplored territory of self-expression. Raj, ever the supporter of novel experiences, egged him on his eyes twinkling with excitement. The family's encouragement and Amit's own adventurous spirit finally tilted the balance. All right, let's do it, Amit declared, his voice a mix of determination and nervousness. The decision made, Aunt Priya quickly arranged for a local jeweler, skilled in the art of nose piercing, to come to their house. As the hour approached, Amit's heart raced with anticipation. He had seen nose piercings done before, a quick pinch of the skin followed by the adornment of a shiny stud. But experiencing it himself was a different matter altogether. The jeweler, an old man with gentle eyes and a steady hand, arrived with his tools, creating a small stage in the living room. Amit sat down, the center of attention once more, as the jeweler prepared for the piercing. There was a hush in the room, a collective holding of breath. Amit closed his eyes, a mixture of fear and exhilaration coursing through him. Then came the sharp pinch, a fleeting moment of pain, and it was done. Amit opened his eyes to see a small, sparkling stud adorning his nose. The reflection that stared back at him in the mirror was both alien and mesmerizing. The piercing, a small but significant alteration, transformed Amit's appearance once more. The family gathered around, admiring the subtle change that seemed to enhance the femininity of his birthday transformation. Amit touched the stud gently, feeling a strange sense of empowerment. It was as if this small act of rebellion against gender norms had unlocked a part of him he hadn't known existed. The rest of the day passed in a blur, with Amit experiencing the world through this new lens. The piercing was not just a physical change, but a symbolic one, challenging the boundaries of his identity and expression. It was a bold statement, a step into the unknown, and Amit felt both vulnerable and invigorated by it. As the sun set, casting long shadows over the town, Amit stood by the window, 
his new nose stud catching the last light of the day. The experience of the day had been more than just a playful adventure. It was a journey into the depths of his own identity, a test of his boundaries and beliefs. In that quiet moment, Amit realized that this summer vacation was not just a break from routine, but a pivotal chapter in his life story, one that would shape his understanding of himself and the world. The days following Amit's impromptu nose piercing unfolded like pages from a book of enchantment. With the sparkling new adornment enhancing his already convincing feminine guise, Amit began to navigate the world in a way he never had before. The transformation that began as a playful birthday experiment had now taken on a life of its own, and Amit, or rather Amrita, as he was now affectionately called by Raja's family, found himself at the center of a curious and exhilarating adventure. The town, with its bustling streets and vibrant markets, became a stage for Amit's newfound persona. As he walked alongside Raj, draped in colorful saris and his hair styled elegantly, he noticed the world responding to him differently. There were no teasing glances or snide remarks, only casual, accepting nods. The piercing, glinting subtly in the sunlight was a stamp of authenticity to his transformed identity, and Amit felt a strange sense of belonging. One of the most poignant encounters during this time was with Pooja, a girl from the neighborhood who was unaware of Amit's true identity. Pooja, with her bright eyes and easy smile, was drawn to Amit's gentle demeanor and the air of mystery that seemed to surround him. They met by chance at the local market, and their conversation flowed effortlessly. For Amit, interacting with Pooja was a dive into uncharted waters, a mix of thrill and trepidation. Here was someone who saw him not as the boy with long hair from the village, but as Amrita, a girl with her own charm and quirks. Their friendship blossomed over shared laughs and walks under the town's canopy of trees. With Pooja, Amit explored facets of himself he hadn't known existed. He was more expressive, more attuned to the nuances of conversation, and there was an ease in his manner that was unburdened by the expectations he had always known. Pooja's acceptance and affection for Amrita were a balm to Amit's soul, a validation of his identity beyond the confines of gender norms. Yet amidst this newfound freedom and joy, there was an undercurrent of conflict within Amit. Each evening as he returned to Raja's house and shed the layers of Amrita's persona, he faced questions that had no easy answers. Who was he truly? Was Amrita just a role he was playing, or did she represent a part of his identity that he had yet to fully understand? The joy of being Amrita was tinged with the complexity of these thoughts, a labyrinth of self-discovery that Amit navigated with both apprehension and curiosity. As the days of summer vacation began to wane, so did the time of Amit's exploration in his alternate identity. The relationship with Pooja, built on the foundation of Amrita's persona, reached a poignant moment of reflection. Amit realized that while he cherished the connection they shared, it was built on a half-truth. The dilemma of revealing his true identity to Pooja weighed heavily on him, a secret that hung like a delicate thread over their friendship. As the end of summer loomed on the horizon, bringing with it the inevitable return to routine, Amit found himself at a crossroads. The days he had spent as Amrita had opened a window to a world he had never imagined, a world where he was not just the boy with the long hair, but someone more complex, more fluid. Now, in the quiet of his room at Raja's house, Amit grappled with the reflections of his experiences, each a piece of the mosaic that was his identity. The room, with its walls adorned with posters of Bollywood stars and cricket players, felt like a sanctuary where Amit could ponder his thoughts. Here, amidst the familiar yet distant echoes of his village life, Amit faced the mirror, the person staring back at him a blend of Amit and Amrita. The nose piercing, now a familiar part of his face, was a symbol of a journey that had transcended mere physical transformation. The evenings were the hardest, the time when the laughter and playfulness of the day gave way to introspection. Amit thought about Pooja, her friendship a precious gift, 
yet one that was wrapped in the complexities of his dual identity. The fear of losing that bond battled with the need for honesty, a tug of war that played out in his heart. How would Pooja react to the truth? Would their friendship withstand the revelation of his true identity? Amidst these reflections, Amit also grappled with the societal norms he had grown up with. The village, with its rigid definitions of gender and behavior, seemed worlds away from the freedom he had experienced as Amrita. Yet, it was a world he had to return to, a world that awaited him with its expectations and rules. The contrast between his life in the village and his time in the town as Amrita highlighted a dichotomy that was both enlightening and unsettling. The inner conflict was not just about gender identity, but also about self-expression and authenticity. Amit realized that Amrita was not just a disguise or a role played for amusement. She was a part of him, an expression of a self that defied the labels and confines of traditional norms. The joy and liberation he felt as Amrita were genuine, as were the questions and doubts that came with them. As Amit spent his last few nights in the town, the conversations with himself grew deeper. He pondered over what it meant to be true to oneself, the courage it took to defy conventions, and the strength to embrace one's full identity. These reflections were not just about Amit or Amrita. They were about the essence of being human, about the spectrum of identity that each person embodies. The final days of summer cast long, contemplative shadows across the town, mirroring the introspective mood that had enveloped Amit. The time to leave Raj's house and return to his village was drawing near, a return to the familiar yet now distant world of his childhood. This impending departure brought with it a sense of melancholy, a realization that the freedom and exploration he had experienced as Amrita were about to become memories, tucked away in a corner of his heart. In these last days, Amit's interactions with Pooja took on a bittersweet quality. Their conversations, once filled with carefree laughter, were now tinged with the unspoken knowledge of Amit's imminent departure. Amit wrestled with the decision to reveal his true identity to Pooja. The thought of deceiving someone he had grown so fond of weighed heavily on him, yet the fear of losing this newfound connection was equally daunting. The night before his departure, under the canopy of a starlit sky, Amit finally mustered the courage to speak his truth. Sitting beside Pooja on an old stone bench in the town park, Amit's voice trembled as he began to unravel the story of his transformation into Amrita and ultimately his journey of self-discovery. Pooja listened, her expression a blend of surprise, confusion, and a dawning understanding. The revelation was a moment of vulnerability and strength, a moment where Amit laid bare the complexities of his identity. Pooja's reaction was a testament to the depth of their bond. There was no anger or betrayal, only a profound empathy and respect for Amit's courage. Their conversation that night transcended the usual boundaries of friendship, touching the realms of deep human connection. Amit's confession not only brought him relief, but also brought them closer their friendship now rooted in a profound truth. The journey back to the village was a time of reflection for Amit. The lush green fields and the winding river that greeted him were the same, yet he returned a changed person. Amit carried with him not just the memories of his summer as Amrita, but also a deeper understanding of himself. The experience had peeled back layers of his identity, revealing a spectrum of self that was more intricate and colorful than he had ever imagined. Back in the village, Amit found himself viewing his world through a new lens. The teasing remarks about his long hair no longer affected him the same way. They were trivial in comparison to the journey he had undergone. Amit's family noticed a subtle change in him too, a newfound confidence and serenity that had not been there before. As Amit reintegrated into his life in the village, the lessons of his time as Amrita stayed with him. He realized that the essence of his identity was not bound by the traditional norms of his community. Instead, it was a fluid, ever-evolving narrative, one that he had the power to shape. The experience had taught him the importance of self-expression, the courage to explore the unknown, and the beauty of embracing one's true self. 